Hi, I'm uh, Jeff Goodson, president of the Chesapeake Chapter, Company of Military Historians. Uh, if you can see behind me, we're having our annual picnic here at uh, historic Fort Belvoir, Virginia. It's the 7th of August, 2010, and uh, our chapter has many activities all year long, and uh, we usually meet at Fort Ward and other places around the Maryland, Virginia, D.C. area. In fact, our meeting next month is uh, 18th of September at Fort Ward. And as you may have heard, we're going to be sponsoring the Baltimore 2012 annual meeting as well. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, having a good program. And uh, I believe John is going to go around and uh, start talking to some of our other members. So welcome. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Sylvia Goodson. Very happy to uh, be invited here. Uh, my husband is the president of the Chesapeake chapter, and we're planning for the uh, 2012 Bicentennial, and we're having a good time right now. And I would invite everybody to take a good look at the War of 1812 and uh, get a better perspective of what has happened here, actually, in the year of 1814. And I thank you for this moment, so please go to the website. Thank you. I'm George Franks. I'm former president of the Chesapeake chapter of the Company of Military Historians. We're having a great day here at the picnic. My interest is the Battle of Falling Waters, July 14th, 1863, 18th century uniforms and equipment, and collecting military images. Join the Company of Military Historians. Okay, I'm Bill Connery, a uh, fine member of the society here. I'm originally from Baltimore. I focus on uh, Civil War and other history. I give historical tours of Baltimore, also speak at various Civil War camps all around D.C., Richmond, and glad to be here today. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Hi, I'm John DePew. I'm the treasurer of the Potomac chapter. If you always do, you can see me now and pay up. I, I, we have $10 per year. I've been collecting American swords since I was about nine years old, and I uh, probably yeah. have over 70 of them now, spanning between the American Revolution and the 1913 Cool. Chesapeake chapter, right? Did we yeah. used to call it the Potomac chapter? I bet you we did. Yes, it, okay. it, is, it is the descendant of the Potomac chapter. Okay, all right. Thank you, John. Hi, I'm Patrick Galloyd. I'm the vice president of the Chesapeake chapter of the Company of Military Historians, and we're here at the annual chapter picnic on a beautiful Pohick Bay, having a great time talking history. Hi, good afternoon. My name's uh, Bill Horn. I'm a new member of the uh, Company of Military Historians, and I'm proud to be at their uh, summer picnic for the Chesapeake That's it. chapter. That good? I collect uh, artillery and artillery related yeah. items and uh, like I say I'm a new member of the company and uh, I'm uh, proud to be here. Thank you. And a big stack of and uh, they hired some retired master gunner sergeant to go out and cut these things up for scrap metal. So he's out there cutting, all of a sudden he's just you know, shooting out on one of the things. We realize what he's done, he's cut into a lot. These are 2,000 pound bombs. So he turns around to his two helpers and says, run for it. Okay, well the thing goes off, he gets a back load of shrapnel, and he's back down to Camp Tillicum. But when it goes off, it set off another one about 20 feet away. And I'm only about maybe a quarter of a mile away from this one. Really the explosions go off. We're out there watching shrapnel coming through the air. Long story there, I won't go into it. But, but yeah, I mean, this stuff pops up all the time. Even when they said, you know, they looked at all these things and made sure they were dummy bombs. Not, but a couple of live ones got mixed up in it. Hey, John. Um, we're here at the Chesapeake Chapter Summer Picnic. And uh, if you're interested in what I like, I like uh, Civil War and, and earlier American swords, saddles. Uh, cavalry equipment, and I've written a couple of books, one on uh, uh, Civil War Cavalry and Artillery Sabres, the other on, on uh, swords of, of all types uh, from 1830 to 65. And, um, I chaired uh, last year's Reston 
2010 uh, annual company meeting. Yeah, I think we had a great time. Is that all you need to know? That's it. Now, you did say your name was John Tillman, didn't you? I did. Very good. Okay. Thank you, John. Coffee is unsweetened, but there's sugar and sweetener there. Lemonade is sweet. Great. Guys, lemonade, iced tea. All right. Let's see what we have. Okay. Well, are you having something? It's my place to keep an eye on the treasure. Family treasure. Okay. Since she does our taxes. Ooh. It wouldn't be really, unless he did something in the military. That would work for dressing up with something else. Mm -hmm. He kind of wants to leave now. We've got the 50 yards. That's kind of my thing. Well, we were using that. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, Please fill more of the civilian all the tourists. Six to eight or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are they gonna allow alcohol on board? Yeah, yeah, they oh, cater yeah. stuff there all the time. Yeah. yeah, we we've had events on there from other groups that we're in. Will they let you bring your own stuff? Um we can probably arrange that. See the thing is if you the food of the, the food is expensive, but the alcohol is real. It's very just different. So if, if, if you guys could buy the beer and hand pack for us, or you got to cook it, I see. Or the wine doing? or whatever. What we were looking at is to have um, wine made of red and white. Caught something, huh? Yeah. One of those green fish. Green hairy one. 